When traveling, things don't always work out as planned. The Airbnb didn't work out. There was bugs in the beds and stuff. The real side of travel. Our travel day started out in Santorini, where we had spent five days exploring the island. We were nearing the end of our month-long Europe trip and had originally planned to end in Naxos in Greece and then fly back to Paris and go home. However, due to ferry times in Greece being reduced, we had to change our travel plans pretty last minute because it would have been too long of a journey to get home since there was no airport on Naxos. That left us with five free days and nothing to do. Even though we had already been to Mallorca, Spain, we had some friends who were renting a house there and we decided to join them since there was a lot of flights out of Mallorca to Paris. Traveling Europe for a long period of time is like putting together a puzzle. It takes a lot of planning and coordinating and like I mentioned, sometimes things don't always go as planned. After a long travel day from Santorini to Mallorca with two flights in between, we arrived in Spain at midnight. We had planned to take a taxi to our Airbnb to meet our friends when we got a voice note that the state of the Airbnb wasn't exactly as advertised. We're taking over Laura's vlog. It is currently midnight. We just got to Malca, uh, no, Palma, Mallorca. Um, apparently our Airbnb didn't work out. There's bugs in the beds and stuff, so. I guess it didn't work out. I guess it didn't work out. So we're trying to figure out a hotel situation. Everything happens for a reason. Last minute, we're showing you the real, real side of travel. The real side of travel. Um, Sitting on an airport floor in the middle of the night is basically a rite of passage as a traveler. We decided to rent a car at the only spot still open and drive to a little hotel we had found online for the night. So we ended up booking a hotel and we're gonna go stay there for a night and then figure out our life from there. We are very tired and very hungry. <laughs> Good morning you guys, woke up here in Palma. The original plan was we had a really amazing Airbnb, we're gonna be staying with friends for a few days and then we get in last night and we get a voice note from them saying the Airbnb we cannot stay here I guess it just wasn't as advertised there was a lot of bugs she described it as like a house from the nightmare on Elm Street yeah I need to say we ended up having to get a hotel for the night so last night we were like frantically searching for a hotel on the floor of the airport at midnight. Um, so we actually booked, this one's called HM Alma Beach, and it's cute, like it's, we paid 120 euros for it. it, includes breakfast, I just got some breakfast, which actually the buffet is quite nice. Got some hash browns, got some eggs, all that jazz. Our friend did actually book a new Airbnb today. We found one last night, and then she's gonna try and like get refunded for the other one, and then we'll figure out all that stuff later. When I was here last, about a week ago, we stayed at Zotri by Orca, which is the most amazing property ever. I will leave that vlog linked below. But because it was so amazing, we didn't really leave and go and explore this island. So that's what I definitely wanna do this trip because there was a few things we didn't get to see. Um, one was Palma. We we just did not see Palma at all, which is kind of the main city. And then the second thing was they have a lot of really beautiful beaches here, which we also didn't see. So I definitely want to do that. First, I'm going to have some coffee, do some work, and then we're going to get this day started. I would have done something, but now I'm left with an empty heart. No making amends, no waking up beside you. Holding you till we forget. We just got a quick little snack outside of our hotel. We checked out of our hotel. We went to Bona Ona and they had a beautiful tables there that was like the surfboard. It was looked like a uh what was it called? What's that art called? It's like oh oh um oh resin resin resin, resin. these beautiful resin tables um that looked like the ocean it was really awesome honestly and this area of where we're staying is a really cool beach town as well we got here at night so you didn't really get the full effect but um there seems to be a bunch of people hanging out on the beach surfing there's a whole bunch of little restaurants totally beach town vibes we're actually gonna go now into palma explore a bit um we're going to go visit the old cathedral which is really beautiful and then maybe pop into a shop or two and kind of explore this area before checking in to our Airbnb. We did get an Airbnb. Very thankful for that. So I'm excited. Um, and it has a big pool. So it's going to be really nice the next few days. How could I know there was no second chance? So we have just parked our car. We are now here in Palma and you guys, the city is absolutely beautiful. I'm actually really happy we got to come back because we did not see this part and I can't imagine not seeing this. Just like the architecture everywhere and it's just like, I'm just amazed right now. So we're gonna go walk right now to the castle. We're walking actually through a park and it has so much rich history here. It has all these really historical looking buildings. So we're gonna walk around and explore a little bit. I'm amazed right now. This is so cool. 
Wow. I actually just walked past a tour group um, with a man telling everyone the history of this place, which I do actually recommend doing those guided tours when you come to cities. We don't actually have time for today, but you just get so much information in a short period of time. You learn everything you possibly need to know about the rich history of all of these historic buildings. So when you're traveling, I'd always recommend doing a tour, whether it's through our website like with locals, which we had done in Amsterdam, or hiring someone when you get here, it's worth it. So we've been walking around the city for a bit. We walked all around the cathedral, spent some time there, and now we're back along kind of the main strip that has a whole bunch of restaurants, a bunch of shops. We've actually just popped into a few stores that are the European brands that we don't have in Canada, which is kind of fun to buy something that you can't find back home. And we're actually going to be going to check into our new Airbnb very shortly here. So I'll show you guys that, do the grand tour, which will be our home for the next three nights here in Mallorca. No. Trying to... All right, you guys, I did something bad. I indulged a little bit, just a little bit, at Zara. The Zara in Europe is honestly elite. It is so much better than the one in Canada. So there's a few things in there that I really loved. I found these boots that I have been looking for for a while. Not reasonable to bring boots, but we are in our second last place before we go to Paris and then home. So I do kind of want to, since it's going to be starting fall, or it is fall at home, um, and it's going to be almost winter, I kind of want to get my like winter fall wardrobe ready in Europe because the clothes here are just so much better honestly in the stores like even all the stores we have at home the selection here is just seasons ahead so anyways very happy with my purchase now i'm just waiting for lisa and louisa they're just browsing around zara so we're gonna wander and see if we can find anything fun i kind of want to grab a aperitivo so what i love about europe is in the afternoon you can get a cocktail and they give you free food which is amazing aperitivo is such a wonderful part of europe that i just love every time i come so we might do that So I've come to a place across the street from Zara called Siesta and I ordered an Aperol Spritz and a water and it's so beautiful in this plaza. It's honestly, I feel like everywhere I look it looks like a Pinterest board. So it is a wonderful place to wait and it's just, I can't get over the beauty of this place. Alright, so I ended up buying a few things from a store called Estrada de Various. Um, Lisa and Louisa had gone in there, spent a while in there, got some really cute stuff. Everything is very affordable and it's actually a brand that's based here in Spain. They do have a location in Paris as well, um, but this stuff is quite trendy. Honestly, kind of reminds me of a cheaper Zara, um, but I like to get kind of a few trendy pieces every season and it's perfect for that. We are literally all shopped all out. Boots. Lisa got some boots. Very cute. But yeah, we didn't shop the whole time, so I feel like this is a little treat for us and it's honestly so awesome. Just like that, we have houseload of groceries, three suitcases, and a lot of stuff. So we just went and did a big grocery shop. I was honestly astonished with the prices at this grocery shop. Everything was so incredibly cheap. The best part of all was the wine was literally two euros. Like, the nice wine was seven euros. I just have no words. So. 211 euros for what would have been probably $600 at home. So very happy about that. But we are now finally ready to go to the Airbnb and saying goodbye here to Elma Beach and heading to our little oasis for the next few days. Let's do this. <laughs> We've arrived. Pictures. What is this porn? <laughs> Good morning you guys, welcome to our Airbnb here in Mallorca. So we're staying at quite a funky little Airbnb that has lots of fun art in the wall. It also has like a Versace mansion logo thing. Um, I think that's what inspired the decor. Hence the fact we got this. But we just got ready and we're going to hang out in town today. Last night was pretty fun. We went for dinner in town, in the old town, right where we were in the afternoon. And then we bar hopped a little bit, kind of got a shot in one little bar, went to the next, and then went home and just hung out here. So right now we're actually gonna be going around 10 minutes towards the beach area, exploring the beach town, kind of close to where we're staying now, and see more of Mallorca. Gals in the city and we have made it to the beach. This is absolutely stunning. Very, very nice. The sun's gonna be setting soon and the town's definitely busy. I do notice about Mallorca is it has a bit of an older 
population it seems like. People typically say that the young people go to Ibiza to party and then people who are older will come vacation here in Mallorca. Not a ton of nightlife. I mean, we did go to a place last night that was pretty lively, but obviously compared to Ibiza, no clubs really uh, here, but beautiful, beautiful beaches. This is honestly so incredible and nice and lots of fun little restaurants along the boardwalk. So I think we're gonna go get a drink and hang out there for a while. So we were just eating dinner at a restaurant and I had to run down to the beach because the sunset is next level insane. Good morning, you guys. We are starting this morning off with mimosas because I feel like when you're in a Spanish villa, it's just what you gotta do. Cheers. <laughs> and we're making a little breakfast spread. It's a beautiful day today, not windy at all. Yesterday was very windy. So we're gonna relax at the house a little bit today and then actually go check out one of Mallorca's beautiful beaches. There's so many beautiful beaches here. So we're definitely, we're definitely gonna make use of this beautiful Spanish villa and then go check out one of Mallorca's amazing beaches. There's so many great beaches here that we actually didn't get to explore explore last time so we have a car now it really opens up um your world's opportunity so anyways we're gonna have breakfast and then get the day started so we've arrived at a beach called Palo del Moro and it's really beautiful here it's currently overcast so we're not getting the super blue water normally would have but that being said even on a cloudy day this is a super blue beach really beautiful and we have these red rocks all around Louisa was saying it kind of looks like Portugal which I can definitely the Algarve the Algarve yes um, but it is so nice. So we're gonna kind of hang out on the beach for a little while and watch the sunset. We did get here a little bit later than planned. The one thing about this beach I do want to note is that you do have to take a 15 to 20 minute walk down to get here. So make sure you bring good walking shoes. And it is kind of hard to get down to this beach area. We did have to like hike down here a bit. So another reason to have good shoes. So we basically started up here and then we walked all the way down and then down this way. And then now we're at this beautiful beach. That's really cool. So we spent a while now at the beach hanging out taking some nice photos and we're headed back up. It's a bit of a hike to get up, so I regret bringing heavy things, but basically I need to go all the way up there. And just like that, we are finished here in Mallorca. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, definitely make sure to do so, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.